This is Shai Kumar Kortiwada. In this video, we will see how to integrate Gemini API into our Angular. So already we know that Gemini is a Google product which was launched which is a competitor for ChatGPT. In the same way, we can integrate this Gemini into our Angular application and we can utilize the features which are provided by Gemini. So there are some set of APIs which we can integrate into our custom project and we can utilize the responses or the content which is provided by Gemini. So let me quickly jump into one more slide. I'll explain you what we are going to do in this video. So already we know about Gemini. It's like a chat interaction where you can talk with a tool where it will respond with some set of information for you and this background is something like artificial intelligence so whatever the prompt you are asking it will filter it out it will get some set of data and provide that information for you in this video we will do the same thing by using gemini ai api integration so we will be creating a chatbot with this gemini ai and now we also do some set of steps to execute this and to get the output same like Gemini. So let me go into the step by step. First thing is you need to have a NPM installation for this generative AI and we will be generating an API key by using your Google product and that is nothing but a Google API key for your Gemini and we will be consuming the API and create a chat like feature with Gemini. So let me quickly jump into Visual Studio Code where I have created some set of prerequisites and on top of it we will be doing all this chatbot integration with Gemini API. Here what I created is I already created all the UI related stuff. So let me quickly jump into the browser and show you how the UI works. So let me go here and this is my UI which I have created and there is something like one more skeleton which I created. The skeleton is something like the loading indicator. So let me show you how this loading indicator works and all these components are created on top of Angular 17. So all the components are standalone components. So let me copy this component that is the selector and let me inject into our main chat history place. So let me inject over here and save this and you are seeing some error because we have to import this particular component into our app component. So the component name is skeleton and the skeleton component save this go here and you can see a loading indicator something like this. So what we are trying to do here is we will be typing a prompt and we'll send that to Gemini API and we will be getting some response and we'll show that response in this particular window itself. So this is something like my first AI related prompt AI related video. So please watch that so that you can integrate your application with the generative AI which is provided by Gemini. So let me go here. Now what we'll do is we'll go into our HTML content and we will be showing this content once the user prompt something. So for that sake what I'll do is just I'll comment this for now and what we will do is we will do all other remaining logics. So first thing is I'll install a third party library that is nothing but Google slash generative AI. So this Google slash generative AI will give you a feature of using generative AI of Google product. So let me go and add that npm install. We can go with at the rate Google slash generative hyphen AI and hit enter. Now there is a permission denied so I have to run with a sudo. So let me run it with sudo npm install at the rate Google slash generative hyphen AI and hit enter. Now it is asking password of my system. I am giving the password of my system and hit enter. So now it has installed a library. That library is nothing but Google slash generative AI. So now what I'll do is I'll create a service where it is the responsible person to send our prompt to generative AI and get the data from generative AI of Gemini. So let me create a service. So how we can create a service by using a command called as ng generate service and the service name is you can give the service name. So let me give Gemini as the service name and I don't want to have any spec files. So hyphen hyphen skip tests and enter. So now 
Gemini service has been created. So let me go into Gemini service and we will write all our related logics over this particular service. So first thing is I'll create a generative AI variable private generative AI colon it is from Google generative AI. If you can see here, it has been imported from our Google slash generative AI library. And now what I want to do is I want to create an object for this generative AI. So let me create this dot generative AI is equal to new Google generative AI of you have to pass an API key. Let's create that API key by your Google account. So what you can do is you just log in into Google account and just go into this particular URL aistudio.google.com slash app slash API key. I'll provide this particular URL in the description. Please try to go here and log in with your any of your Google account. I have logged in with my Google account at that particular time. It will be showing something like I'm deleting all my previous keys. So let me click on create API key. So it will be creating one set of API key I don't have any existing project so select the project from the existing so I don't have the project so what I'll do is I'll use something like create new and let me click on create API and I don't have anything new so let me go here and create generative language client so this is my existing project which I am using and I have created an API key for us so this is the API key just copy this go into our visual studio code and paste here that key so I have posted that key and after this video creation I'll delete this key because it is very secured please use this in a secured manner so if you want to get this key you have to store in the environment file and get it from the environment file don't put these keys in your project because this is a JavaScript you can find this key in the inspect or the source code so that's why it is always recommended not to use this directly here I am using directly but please put this inside the environment files of .env files so that it will not be visible to anyone so that let me save this now I have created an object for this what I'll do is I'll create something like text generation from this Gemini so what I'll do is I'll create a text prompt by sending the text prompt I'll be getting a text response that is what we will target in this Gemini service so what I'll do is I'll write something called as generate text and I'll just pass my prompt for this so let me pass a prompt in a string format and what this does is it we it is having some set of promises so we have to await for getting that data so that logic we will be writing so that I'm using a sync logic over here and I will be awaiting with some set of responses so what I'll do is first thing I'll just create my model so model is equal to what type of AI model that is what type of AI model you want to use from this Gemini services so what I'll do is I'll use generative AI dot generative AI model I want to get this generative AI model and you have to mention the model name so for now I'm using something called as Gemini Pro so I'm using Gemini Pro so this is my model which was given by Google so now by using this model we will be getting the responses from that particular Gemini AI API so what I'll do is I'll just create a const variable which will give you a result and the result is await this is a promise based so I'm using a model dot generate content so I want to generate the content by passing this prompt so let me pass the prompt to this so now you will be getting a result so by using this result what we can get so actually speaking the result is also a promise based so you have to get a proper response from this so we can await this by using result dot response and this is a variable which will be given by your generative content and that generate content will provide you a response in a promise based so we are awaiting for that promise based and we are getting the response from it so by using this response we will be getting a text data so what I'll do is I'll use const text is equal to response dot text I want to get only the text from this particular response so now let me write only a console over here console dot log of text 
and now this text is something which was generated by your model so now by using this model we can get the text which is created by your generative ai that is gemini generative ai so now what i'll do is i'll go into my html and here i have a button so on this button click i want to send the prompt which was entered in this input field so to get this input value what i'll do is i'll use our two-way data binding so how can i use two-way data binding first thing is i have to import my forms module and then i will be creating something like prompt which is of string type and I have an empty by default now this prompt will help us for two-way data binding by using our ng model ng model and I'm passing this prompt so now when the user clicks on send I have to trigger an event called as click so I'm triggering a event called as click and send data so I'm just sending this particular data. So let me copy this send data and create a function which will call this generative AI service that is Gemini service. So let me go and get this prompt. So now what I'll do is if my this dot prompt is exist that means you should have some value in that prompt then only you will be sending to that gemini service so now what i'll do is i'll create a gemini service you can create in two ways one is by using the inject method or by using a constructor and injecting your gemini service over there now i am using the latest inject method so that you will understand the other way of using an inject method so let me use gemini service which is of inject which is of gemini service again and that is equivalent to inject of gemini service so let me use that gemini service over here and save this now by using this gemini service i'll pass my prompt to this particular method this dot gemini service dot generate text of my prompt so let me pass the prompt this dot prompt and save this now let me go here into html and save this now let me go into the browser and test how this works let me go here let me go into gemini app let me reload and let me inspect this now what i want to do is i want to type hi gemini how are you and let me send this so now there is a problem over here generative dot generate text is not a function so it is telling that generate text is not a function so here i observe the process is with this inject method so inject method which should be in the small case that means i small and inject is a method which is given by our angular slash core let me close this and go here you have a generative text and let me go here and just reload and go to the code and let me go and select this hi gemini how are you and let me send this so now what happened it is going with an api and you got a response may i help you that means as an ai assistant this is a response which you got from gemini i am not gemini and do not have feelings or emotions like humans i am designed so that means there is a special message it got back to you so now we have to show this content on the ui for that sake we will do some set of hacks over here let me go into gemini service and let me create a private and i will be creating a behavioral subject or you can create a signal as well but i'll go with a behavioral subject over here so what i'll do is i'll create message history so i want to hold the message history which is of behavioral subject of any and you can use signals as well so let me go here and create new behavioral subject of i want to give a null value that is the default is null value so now i want to push all the details into this message history so what i'll do is i'll just go here and i'll pass my message services that means message history by using our prompt as well as the response from the ai so let me go here and i'll create something called as name or you can say from this is from user so let me go and create a user and what is the message from him so let me use a message as prompt so we are using this prompt as a message from the user and i want to push the data so let me use and i want to push the data by using next so next will push the data into this message history so now this is an array let me save this 
and now what I want to do I want to get the text and this is the text which is responded from our Gemini AI so let me go and create message history dot next and the next value is something like an object again and this is from a bot so let me use a bot as a keyword and message as a response that is text response so I'll be using this text response so what we are trying to do whenever I hit on a prompt that will be stored in our message history and after once you get the response that will also stored in this message history let me save this now we are done with all this from the service side so let me create some set of method which helps us to return this particular message history so what I'll do is I'll create a public method that is get message history and let me use an observable type which will return you any array or any value and let me use this for returning my this dot message history dot as observable so I am returning this as an observable now we will be utilizing this particular method in our TS so let me go into the TS let me create a constructor where I can subscribe to this Gemini service with get message history so let me use this dot Gemini service dot get message history of dot subscribe and this is my method which will result you some set of data and this data is something like the prompt whatever you are sending and the data which you are getting back from the api so now what we will do is we will try to create one particular array so that means chat history colon any array is equal to array that is empty array so now what i'll do is if my response exists then i want to push into my chat history chat history dot push off the response whatever we are getting from the history so now i have used this chat history and this chat history we can loop in our html so let me go here and what i'll do is this is my chat history placeholder so what i'll do is i'll try to inject all my code all my looping logic inside this so what i'll do is i'll create a ng container that is nothing but ng hyphen container and here I am trying to write some set of logic ng for that means ng for and here what is my list the list is something like the chat history let me copy this and put it over here you will be getting two values over here one is the item with the from attribute and the item with the message attribute so now what I'll do is I'll try to create some set of div over here and I'll try to loop this value with an icon and along with that icon I'll be showing some set of data so for that sake what I'll do is I'll get my CDN for the FAFA icons I already bought it and I kept in my index.html you can see this this is my CDN for font awesomes so let me go into our HTML and I am using an icon that is nothing but class where I want to use based on the condition if my bot has something like if my message is from user then I want to show a user circle that means fa hyphen user hyphen circle this is what I want to show and if the person or if the message is from bot for example then I want to show something like graduation cap so these are some icons which I am showing so I am using a graduation cap so you will be getting a graduated symbol over there so let me save this and now let me go into this and just try to hit an API so let me refresh this so we saw some issue because we are not able to bind the ng for because we don't have a common module which has been injected in this import so let me import the common module so let me save this and now let me go here and just refresh so now you will be getting a response and that response will be visible over here so let me try to use this hi Gemini how are you and send this data so now you got two icons one is the user icon and one is the cap icon so this user icon will be showing the prompt from the user and this graduation symbol will be shown with the data which is responded with that Gemini service so let me go here into our HTML and now based on some conditions I'll be writing this so what is my condition over here so the class is common with fa and let me use ng class 
and here what is my expression the expression is item dot from if it is equivalent to user then you will be getting a CSS class of this that is for user circle and there is one more condition over here for us the condition is for graduation cap which should be added for this when my item dot from is equivalent to bot and save this let me go into Gemini service and we will be seeing the spellings over here it is bot and it is user so I wrote some set of conditions and format this so now we want to show some set of messages as well so let me use a span tag to show this messages so the message is something like I want to show item dot message this is the response and the prompt where the user and the bot is responding let me save this and go here refresh so now what I want to do I want to just use hi Gemini how are you and hit send so you are seeing a user data and then it is waiting for the response from Gemini and you got the Gemini response and we are showing that Gemini response over here so that is how you can use your Gemini API now we will be doing some set of logics and some set of CSS on top of this for better understanding and also we will be waiting for the loading indicator to show when this particular API was in process so let me go here and what I'll do is I'll enable this skeleton and I'll be writing some set of ng container logic over here and I'll be creating a loading indicator let me create ng if is equal to I'll be create a loading so let me copy this and go to my app dot component dot ts and create a variable called as loading which is a boolean value and by default it is false so now once the user hit send data my loading indicator should initiate the loading value so loading is equal to true and then once this generative api is done with done with its process i want to stop this but if you see here this is an asynchronous call so that is why we have to wait until that asynchronous call is done so let me await for the response and save this now save this and also there is one more problem when you type something and send the data it has to become empty so what we will do is we will try to create const data is equal to this dot prompt and we will sending this data to generate text and we will clear off this this dot prompt to an empty so once the user sends the data the response or the field will become empty so let me go here and you can see there is a loading indicator by default so what happening over here is we don't have an ng container placed properly so we have to set this ng container and inside that ng container we have to use skeleton so let me go here and just reload and now let me type something the same prompt and send this so you are seeing a loading indicator and you will be seeing a prompt over there and you will be seeing a response once you get the response the loading indicator has stopped so now what I want to do is I want to create some set of classes which already I have created that is messages class and I want to show some set of variants between this ng classes so ng class I want to show a blue color I want to show a blue color when my item dot from is user let me copy here and paste here and I just give a comma and I have a green indicator which is the response from the bot so I am using item dot from as a bot and put it over here save this and save this go here reload and now I'll use the same prompt and send this you can see you are getting the response over here in a proper way and it is looking very good so now let's ask a different types of questions now so what I want to ask is what is HTML and can you brief about HTML and let me brief HTML and hit send so now you will be getting a response over here yep yeah. So you are getting some set of stars what is HTML this stars actually indicates a bold letter so you have to format this properly and you have to get the proper data over here but that structurization I'm not concentrating on this why because this is something like the same content whatever you are getting from the response in a text format so this is the text format which you got and you are getting all the stars and all that stuff so let's solve this by using some set of methods and you can do whatever you want with the format which was sent by Gemini API so now what I'll do is 
instead of showing this message directly i'll write something like the different way something like i'm using a responses classes for some set of paddings and stuff and i'll be using an inner html so inner html and i want to show this text so let me copy this text cut this put it over here and i want to format this for formatting purpose what i'll do is i'll just get a method that is nothing but i'm using something like bold or format text which should remove all the stars so for that sake i'm passing a text in a string format and i'm using a regex for this so let me use a result of text dot replace i want to replace all my stars so what we can do is i can use something like replace all of i want to search and replace so i want to search the star and i want to replace with empty so let me save this and return the result so let me save this into html and just go into html and use this format text and it will be returning you a text format even you can use this in the interpolation let me go here and just reload and let me ask can you explain me about html and hit enter so now you got a space just because of that responses class which i have used and created in my css so now you got the data and you can see all the data whatever you got it is in a clear fashion but actually speaking it has to go into the next lines and you have to make all the star star values into bold all this formatting you can do with the css but i don't want to concentrate over here especially on this css and whenever you type something over here what is unit testing in angular and if you hit enter it is not working so you have to write the enter logic as well so what we can do is we can use something like key up dot enter i can use the same thing and call the same thing like send data copy this put it over here save this and go here now let me write what is unit testing in angular send this data and in the same way you can ask one more question but whenever it is in loading we should not send the data we will write that one as well by using disabled logic so let me go here and add a disabled property disabled is equal to loading when it is loading i want to disable this by using a property binding let me go here and refresh this now let me try what is unit testing and hit enter now it is not working let's see what's the problem so we are writing key press dot enter on the button but we have to write it on the input so i think you can use even key up dot enter so go here refresh let's select this one and hit enter so now it is working i have not clicked on the button instead i am clicking on the enter and if you see here it is not actually showing in a disabled format so let's target for that so you have an id copy this id let me go into app dot component dot scss and let me use hash paste colon disabled so whenever this button is disabled i want to show a background color as gray and i want to show cursor pointer as null that means cursor pointer not allowed and save this let me go here refresh this type something and send this you can see the grayed out button and you can't send anything and here if you see i am able to type something so i don't want to do that as well so what what i'll do is i'll go here into the input and what i'll do is i'll make this as disabled so let me use disabled and the disabled condition is loading so equal to loading and save this go here and just select something and hit enter so you can't type and you can't send the data until you get the response from gemini api so you got the response and you are able to see the content on your ui and you can continue with the next question and here if you see there is a suggestions i don't want to show, show the suggestions then you can use something like autocomplete as off and save this now let me go here refresh this let me click on this you are not able to see any of the suggestions that is the previous questions so like this you can integrate your gemini services and also what we'll do is inside the send data we will write one more condition 
for prompt as well as your loading should not be there this dot loading should be false that means it should not be in the loading state if it is in the loading state don't send the data also so let me go here and refresh this so now what i'll ask is something like can you explain about tech share skk youtube channel and hit enter now you can see the response from the gemini api about my channel would be something like crazy let's wait for it so it is having some set of spelling mistakes over here shares bk is a youtube channel dedicated to comprehensive in-depth information of various technical topics it was founded in 2016 and since gained a popularity among the tech enthusiastic like that we have all the data over here but it understood in a different fashion so always we have to give a proper prompt for this so let me give something like technical stuff so can you make a div center in css and hit enter so now what is the response from it it will be giving a some set of tilts over there where you can use this tilt symbol for making your own css or customize css this is something like you have to show inside an editor stuff so let me see the data you got all the data along with the example but the formatting is completely a pure text format so that is how you can use this gemini service and get the data from gemini ai model so that's how you can use your gemini in your applications so you can create your own chat or own set of ai chat interface by using gemini services so that's about your gemini integration into angular Hope you got a clear understanding of how to use this Gemini services in our Angular application. If you have any questions about this and if you want to experiment some set of ideologies, please ping in the comments so that I'll try to experiment them and I'll come up with some new videos on this AI. That's it for this video. Hope you like my explanation. If you like my video, like, share, subscribe to my channel for more updates. Signing off. Thank you.